Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, recently I have acquired a very nice uh, 2004 Mazda 6, but you know, definitely every car I buy it has its own quirks and that's why um, I always, you know, work on cars. So this car is, if you look on the stereo, it's have a really nice Bose stereo in there and everything is good. So there's two things, um, you know, sort of die. If you look first thing first, you see this cover is broken from the hinge in here and that's basically some models have a GPS unit in them they fit in there the ones that does not have GPS models um, basically they have this cover in there the other thing is if you look on the uh, display in here it's kind of pixelated you have to push it until you know all of them works so and also sometimes if you look uh, you see at the beginning it shows only 4 rather than 40, which is, you know, if you look at here, a certain point that will show that, then, you know, Fahrenheit and stuff will start hiding and displaying. So there's definitely an issue in there, so, and basically, well, I'll be attempting to take, you know, the central console off until I will be able to, uh, you know, get over there and see if I can fix those or not. Um, one thing that's, you know, not everybody mentioned um, online on those, it's basically if you pull those in, you'll have there's a screw in there. And the same thing underneath this one. I don't think there's anything underneath the middle one, but we'll give it a try here. Let's see. Yep, there's nothing underneath the middle one. So. There's two screws in here, and apparently there's two screws on the bottom, and to get to those, basically the ones on the bottom from here, you have to remove everything from here all the way up. So, let's uh, see what we'll be able to do with that. Alright, for this step, I prefer to use like plastic uh, dash removal tools, and I do not have any, so I use screwdriver. Just basically go around the edges. This is very easy to score, so just be careful. And this should be should be able to get this out. Let's see if that will work with one hand. Yeah, I'll fight with this here for a little bit and see if I can get it out, and I'll be back. Okay, let's see. Apparently I'll be able to pull it as all in one unit. Hopefully. I think there's a clips here in between the two pieces. Yep. There are actually clips between the two pieces. You have to pull halfway up. Then you can do that. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle without seeing anything. I'm not seeing any hidden screws or anything, so basically there's a clip like this you have to push. There's another one on the other side of it, but I'm not feeling it. I have to find where it is. There you go. Alright, so yeah, you see there's a clip in here and a clip in here so you have to get those focus camera all right so 
So yeah, that's how it's look like. Let's go to the next piece. I want to see. Apparently, there should be some sort of connector somewhere. Yeah. Yep. I'll go ahead and take those connectors, and I'll take the. charger, socket, you know, lighter, socket, whatever that thing called, connector from there, and uh, basically I'll be able to lift this piece, and we'll go to the next step. Alright, so I was able to just put this aside. Basically there's a safety clip on the, on that, and the other three, there's one in here, one, and two, and three. These are for the lights for the shifter. One for this side, one for the plus and minus on the side, and one for the ashtray light. Anyway, I think I should be okay by just leaving it that way on the side. I'm just not going to disconnect everything. And uh, as you can see, there's one screw in here, one screw on the other side in there. Take those off, They take these two off behind the... and the uh, selectors and this whole thing should pull out or at least this stereo then I think there's two more screws underneath in there but we'll see alright so I took the screws off for now but now I'm here I need to take off the um, glove box and basically we have this uh, retainer we have to take care of we have to remove that I think that simple cable that's just pulled from here and then we have to take the glove box off because there is a 10 millimeter bolt hidden uh, in there all the way in the back of the stereo so we have to take care of that so basically glove box you remove this one in here then you remove you pull on this side and on that side that will drop and basically you pull on it and it's gonna be out well, here you go. So, there's a 10 millimeter bolt somewhere in there I have to look for. And uh, we gotta take it off. Okay, I can see it now. If you take a look over there, that's a 10 millimeter bolt need to be taken off. So, I'll get a ratchet, an extension, and uh, we'll take care of that. Aha! Uh -huh. Treasure revealed! So, as I was expecting, there is one bolt in here, and there's another bolt, in, um, a screw actually, not a bolt, another one in here. So I'll take this off, and supposedly the whole thing should slide out. I am not sure if there is anything hidden inside, it doesn't look so, but we will see. Alright, so I was able to get it out of the its place, but when I uh, basically I removed the two uh, screws, one over here was, and the other one here on the bottom, and uh, basically it's hooked up through those here too, on the back, and supposing it should just basically pull, but the cable was hooked up to this one, so it's very tight to have unclip it from here, then you can be able to get it out and we will give it a try in here. It's this first time I've, I think it's the first time that thing been pulled over so pulled out so it's gonna be a two hand job in there so I'll take it off and we'll go to the next step after that. Alright so that's uh, the whole unit out and basically I was looking around in here. I don't see any screws in here anywhere that we would basically um, that would basically not be unscrewed aside of I see there's a clip in here and a clip in here and if you're on this side there's nothing really in here so hopefully that's what's uh, bolted in through so we can get to the board and see what's going on behind it
is actually that will fall off when I remove it. So, so we have the dimmer in here, ambient, set, and a clock. So we have to remember those. Maybe those should be, you know, one way only, but you never know. Okay, so what I found actually, there's actually two clips in here I haven't seen for some reason. I had to take my glasses off until I seen them. Yeah, so there's two clips in here and two clips in here and then the whole thing goes out. There you go. Now, we reveal the mystery. There's two screws in here. This one and that one. So we'll take these off and the cover should be out with those side clips. The one on the back that I just pulled is much longer than the other ones that's on the side, or on the bottom actually. So the ones over here is shorter than the ones over here. Okay, so that's the whole actual unit. So, what I'm thinking to do actually, I'm thinking to re-solder all of those pins in here. And that, hopefully, should fix the issue. I'll be looking for any, you know, broken solder or anything like that. If that fixed the issue, well, 
Let's fix the issue. If it did not fix the issue, then we know that will not fix the issue. So I'll go ahead and resolder those and uh, go back. All right, so the whole thing then resoldered in there, all the pins. It's not very pretty soldering, I'm not proud of it. But let's hope that will fix the issue. All right, the moment of truth. I hooked it up and let's go ahead and give it a try. Ooh, -hoo, it is working. All right, awesome. So yeah, I guess, uh, that would be uh, the uh, fix uh, for it. Um, again, um, I will end up the video in here. So again, uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.